Hi, welcome to Primetime Pickleball. My name is Jordan Briones. Do you find yourself hitting the ball on the edges of your paddle and not in the sweet spot? Well, if you do, this video is just for you. So let's jump right in. This is something that you can do by yourself, which is really cool because you don't need anyone with you. Um, today, I'm gonna talk about hitting the ball clean. Um, in other words, hitting it right on the sweet spot where you want to hit the ball because if you hit it anywhere else, it's going to be very hard to control that ball to where you want it to go. So this is a really good exercise that you can do uh, which would help in focusing in on the ball and hitting the ball clean, okay? So I'm just going to be, I have a basket here, I'm just gonna be drop feeding myself and if I have the ball, if someone's hitting me the ball, I would try to get into position early, okay? So that's the number one thing. But since I'm drop feeding myself right now, what I wanna focus on is preparing my target early, okay? So I have four cones on the other side. I'm gonna, right now I'm gonna be practicing some ground strokes, okay, for a, maybe a, a return or a forehand drive. I'm gonna be practicing some forehand ground strokes right now and I have two cones deep uh, near the baseline there. And what I want to focus on is is keeping my eye on the ball and then as I hit my stroke, I'm watching my contact all the way through. And you won't see me look up at my target until after I finish the stroke. So that's really important and that's really key if you want to hit the ball clean every time. Okay, it's going it's at least going to up that percentage of you hitting the ball right in the sweet spot. So mentally, I'm going to prepare. So like in a game, um, you would prepare where you're gonna hit the next shot. Um, so you don't have to be looking at it when you hit it. Cause a lot of times when you are going to frame the ball or hit the ball on the edges of the paddle, you're, you're thinking about where you're hitting and then you look up. So the main thing is to look at the contact all the way through and, and look up after, okay? So I already know where I'm gonna hit. But my main thing I wanna focus on is I'm hitting the ball where I should, where I want it right in front of me and then also I'm not looking up and because when I look up and if I hit the ball while I'm looking up, it's going to change the direction of where I want it to go. So I really want to lock my eyes on on the ball and focus and trying to get the cleanest hit that I can. Okay. All right, so all I'm doing is just trying to get a clean hit. If you're framing it, this is something that you can do by yourself and drop feeding is a great way. You could pra also practice your technique and just your smoothness on your strokes as well. Okay, so that was uh, just taking some ground strokes, forehands, and, and just trying to get a clean hit, and those were all pretty clean. So you could do the same thing for the drop, for a, a you know, third shot drop. Uh, yes, the, there's no one um, here with me today, but I could just practice just getting clean hits on, on my paddle. That's the main thing I wanna do. So same thing, I could, I could drop feed myself, okay? And then I'm gonna look up after I contact the ball. Here we go. There you go, here we go. All right. Cross court. Down the line. Because I already know where my target is. The thing is, a lot of players, they think that, you know, they have to look at the target while they're hitting the ball, but that's going to throw you off and it's gonna really make you with the ball. So this is a really good drill, making sure I hit the ball, then look up. So cross court, here we go. Down the line. Okay, so I hope this exercise helps you guys a lot. Thank you so much for um, watching our videos and we're, we're gonna put out more info for you all. So yeah, if you're hitting the ball off the edges, you want to make sure you keep your head down and you also just have that contact out in front and make sure you don't look up until after you hit that ball. So hopefully this exercise helps you have a good, nice, clean hit. And that's going to be really important as you go forward and progress in your pickleball story. All right. Thanks so much. And we will see you in the next video. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. Thanks so much for watching. For more free video lessons, please visit primetimepickleball.com. But before you head on over there, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you don't miss out on any future videos. Also, for primetime pickleball shirts like this and other great apparel, please visit ptpgear.com.